Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn how to check if a number is palindrome or not in Java. So let's first understand what is the meaning of palindrome. So we have already covered the topic where we have learned how to check if a string is palindrome. So in similar ways, we need to check if a number is palindrome. So slightly the logic is different here because of the data type string and the integer. So a number is said to be a palindrome if it is the same if we start reading it from left to right or right to left. So for example, if you read this number from right to left, it will be 1 to 1 and if we read from the opposite direction, it will also be 1 to 1. Similarly in case of 454, if we read from right to left or left to right, it will be same. So if a number is same in reading from left to right or right to left, then it can be said as palindrome. In other words, we can say reverse of that number is the same as the original number. So we know how to reverse a number. So we have already learnt in the previous video how to reverse a number. I will provide the link in the description. You can go through it. So if we reverse a number 1 to 1, so it will be again 1 to 1. So in that case we can say reverse of a number is same as the original number. So that can be said as a palindrome. So let's first understand the logic of how to reverse a number. And if the reverse of a number we get same as the original number, we will say it, it is a palindrome. So reverse number logic here. So we have already learned this. We need to make use of the while loop and inside the while loop we need to make use of three statements. So let's say our number is 5234. Then we will start here. We will first get the unit digit here. So let's say our number is 5234. So we will say number divided by 10. So in this case we will get the reminder here. So num divided by 10 will be 4 because this particular expression will give us the reminder. So in the digit we will have the 4. Now we will have another variable called reversed. Initially the value of reversed will be 0. So 0 into 10 will be 0 and then plus digit. So digit is having the value as 4. So here we will get the value of reverse as 4 and then we need to update the number. So what we will say number divided by 10. So number divided by 10 5 2 3 4 divided by 10 it will give us the quotient. So quotient will be 5 2 3. So our number is now 5 2 3. So 5 2 3 is not equal to 0 right. So it will come inside the loop. Then we will say 5 2 3 divided by 10 it will give us the reminder. So in this case we will get digit as 3. Now reverse we already have 4. So 4 into 10 it will be 40 plus digit. So 40 plus 3 it will be 43. Now in the reverse we will have the value as 43. Now we will update the number again. So number is 5 to 3. So 5 to 3 divided by 10 it will give me the quotient which will be 52. So 52 is not equal to 0 right. Now 52 divided by 10 it will give me the reminder which will be 2. So digit will have the value as 2 now. And reversed was having the value 43. So 43 into 10 it will be 430. 430 plus digit. So 430 plus 2 it will be 432. Now reversed is having the value as 43. 2. Now we will update the number. So number was 52. Right. So 52 divided by 10 it will give me quotient which will be 5. So number is 5. So 5 is not equal to 0. It will come inside the loop. So 5 divided by 10 it will give me the reminder which will be 5. So digit is having the value 5 now. Reverse was having the value 432. So 432 into 10 it will give me 4320 plus digit. So plus 5. So it will get 4325. So our reversed is now 4325. And now we will update the number. So number is having the value as 5. So 5 divided by 10. The quotient will be 0. So 0 not equal to 0. This condition become false. It will not go inside the loop. So what was the last updated value for reverse? It was 4325 and which is the reverse of our number which is 5234. So this is the logic to get the reverse of a number. So we will get the reverse of a number and then we need to check whether the reverse is equal to the original number and if it is equal then we will say it is palindrome. So let's check in our editor here. So what we will see we will get one number here. So int num is equal to let's get the same number 5234. So we will say here 5234 and then we will declare one variable rnum 
for the reverse number and initially it will have the value as 0 now we will implement the logic while number not equal to 0 we need to say a number not equal to 0 till this case we need to implement the three statements here what were the three statements first we need to get the unit number so we will say here one variable int digit is equal to number divided by 10 this will give me the last unit place number once we get the unit place number we need to update the reverse number then we will say r num is equal to r num into 10 plus digit so we know why we are using this logic after that we need to update the number so number is equal to number divided by 10 this will give me the quotient every time so in this way we can get the reverse number so let's first print whether we are getting it the reverse number or not we will say r num and let's run this code so see we are getting here 4325 so it is the reverse of this number 4325 now what we need to do we need to check whether this reverse is equal to the original number or not so we will say here if num is equal equal to reverse num so what this equal operator will do it will check whether these two variables are having the same value if the variables having the same value then it will return true otherwise it will return the false and here we will print sys out we will say number is palindrome number is palindrome and copy the statement and in else we will say number is not palindrome so for this case 5234 we will get the message number is not palindrome because the reverse is not the same as the original number and if i give you the number 434 so in this case the reverse will also be 434 right then we should get the output as number is palindrome so let's run this code so still we are getting a number is not palindrome why so we are getting a number is not palindrome because our number is getting updated after each iteration right our number was getting updated after each iteration so if you print the number here so sys out num so it will be updated as per the last iteration so our last iteration the number was updated to zero right so that's why it's saying as num so what we can do whatever num we are getting here we will assign it to some another variable so let's say we have another variable called int original num or original we will say now so what we are doing here whatever number we are getting so we will assign it to the original variable and whatever operations we need to do we will do on this num so here instead of comparing it with num we need to say with original so if the original is equal to this num reverse num then we will say it is palindrome so let's run this code so here we are getting it number is palindrome because every time our number was getting updated so instead of comparing it with number we will have another variable in which we store the initial value of number and then we will compare it so we are getting the message as number is palindrome so the important thing here was to know the logic of how to get a reverse of a number if we get the reverse of a number you just need to check whether they are equal or not to get the palindrome so that's it in this video we will cover another topics in next video thank you for watching